Hello everyone, this is Aries Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Tossian Let's Play. We continue for episode 4 from turn 18 in the winter season of 193. So, we expanded down to Guangling. We're surrounded by Han Empire territory and Liu Yao is in our sights. We do want to take Danyang, but I don't think this army might be the one for that job. We might pull them back to deal with our son, our former heir. We'll use our new adopted heir to smash him down. He has decided to declare war on us and also dragged Yuan Shu into that war too. So it's quite annoying. Now this is not bad. Definitely a good debuff. But I think because he's in our faction leader position, we'll pick up the redeployment cost since we still have Tian's main army back in our bench. I think getting the capture rate might help. We can flip him around, have him join in campaign site. Uh, this is also nice, but he's not going to be commanding because he doesn't have the movement buff. We could swap it before a big fight. That's the only thing we can do. But I think if we want to swap him, this is play key. We also want to come over here. Now, this is also kind of interesting. So, feels like he can help in terms of dueling. Enabled if he's not engaged, right? So he's helping others, but this army has no one else that's capable of dueling. So that's kind of bad. We might swap him out later on, but right now, let's keep him here. We're going to shift this army back towards Pengcheng or Huainan. I think the best play would be we take Chen. We assign our other son as a vassal. Give up on this son. And if he wants to peace out, he can. And then each of them have one county. If he doesn't want to peace out, we just wipe him. Uh, we pick up five more public water. He's going to be administrator for us all the way through. All right, that's everyone. Now let's see what we're going to do here. So Guangning is going to be a major economic hub for us. We do need to save up a bit of money. So I guess since there's not any building reduction cost going on right now. Uh, the assignment is not being shifted over here yet. We can kind of reset things and not build anything for now and save up enough money to summon ourselves back on the field to deal with the Southern threat. Taotian is from Danyang, so he can go back and take his homeland. You're not allowed to become uh, official for your home territory, which is why he doesn't start there. He became a governor of the Sioux province. Mm, we could pick up something like this for public order, but we're doing so well with that. Even with this hit, we have a variety of bonuses from our faction mechanic to other things we have picked up along the way, like Peacemaker, although that's going to expire soon. We're going to need someone here. Uh, we'll see who hates us the most. Most people love us. Alright, Spy. We're working pretty hard to break Huang Zhong. Uh, it might be possible with another discredit faction. We're going to try that next turn. Uh, regardless, Shen Pei is also a possibility. We'll keep my eyes out for him as well. We can end turn now. He had a stack here. I'm surprised he hasn't launched any attacks. He's coming close, but it's going to take him at least two turns. I can summon Tien's forces here. We saved money for that. And then we'll just beat him back and then go down south. Oh, she gave birth. We have Zorong's son. I mean, Zorong was a good friend of Taotian historically, so I think it's fine. Uh, they're both ambitious, and uh, we we don't have the trait, so we're going to ignore this nonsense. Two ambitious people comparing who is the more ambitious one. All right, we're going to pass on these. We're going to get the reform first. We get an uh, extra trade route. And I think we want to go up here and pick up the Corruption Reduction building. 
as early as possible. We haven't expanded to that point yet, but we will. And then we're probably going to go down the green side and get ready for these fishing ports that we will pick up. Mm. I'm trying to go back here. Or here. This might be a better route for us because we can stay close to this army. It's 4k for just Tautin himself. That retinue is massive. Zambalidi gun. Yeah, this is going to be problematic for sure. We could save money for another turn before we summon. This is such a bad army that I'm not so worried about them. Even if they cross and we summon and they're not fully healthy, we can still beat them, I'm pretty sure. Lady Me. Hmm... Also, campaign movement. She will come out eventually. She's still young. There's no rush. We can get a set item. I'm going to assign someone to Grant Excellency. Most likely Yue Jin just because he's rank 5. Lady Mi can also work because she's not on the field, but she's doing plenty of assignment jobs. So he can get a little bit of satisfaction boost. She's probably also modest. So she's not going to feel anything there with satisfaction. Oh, these two are useless. Um, might just go for the free one, even though industry base is also a thing. But we definitely have more peasantry at this point. The set item could be gold, but we are poor, so... I'm going to wait till end of turn. Maybe we'll get something different on Yu Jin after we carry out our turn here. Now, no one wants to trade with us. We only have two of five possible targets, which is a bummer. We honestly would need the port to open up trade with more factions, but... The High Empire would be a trade partner that we have to give up first. Let's deal with the wars that we have, and then we'll we'll think about it. Mm, I guess there's really not much to do. We don't want to build, right? And I don't want to change these. So we take the free one. Income goes up. We take another discredit faction. And then we take a look at Kuai Yue. So no one knew. We do another discredit faction. Okay, perhaps we're just not going to get anyone. I can pick up a new character to get their points and maybe use their points to target someone. Or we can patiently wait a turn. Let's wait a turn. Alright. I don't think we're going to be paying for anything else. Just a quick check of assignments. The build up is going to happen in Guangling once we have enough money for that. We should also put her here for the replenishment. Get that ready for the new army. Yeah, and then we're just going to save the money and see what happens here with them. See if they cross over. They're sailing this way, which is a little weird. Liu Dai is the first to show up. Interesting. We could start from in Troy and work our way down if we don't see our our son doing anything. Okay, that's a good item. We can get a bit of campaign movement as well. She left Nobel's faction. We had her working on this credit faction. Okay, so we're chasing out people, which we don't really want because then they're not applying it He's at 45. We can we can drop him down, take a peek. 
Nope. It's probably not going to happen with Huang Zhong. But we'll see. Alright, so because his army didn't show up, I don't think we're super rushed to pump out a force. We're probably going to lose this. Or we can summon our forces here in Pengcheng. Kind of breaks up our plan. Oh, he hit rank 7. Wow. Um, eventually we want that. I think we'll get Restore first. We can start marching soon. That injury really isn't a big deal. Yeah, we'll pick that up. Alright, the original plan is to summon them here and have them go to Danyang, which will give us enough money to afford two armies. So that's going to be the plan. We can lose the temple for now. Satisfaction isn't going to be a huge deal. We'll start with them too. Uh, we can afford Lady Gun's army next turn. And then we'll head south. Right, not much else. Hopefully... It should be okay. We could change our path and go towards Sapi. Ah, never mind. We have more company. And they popped out. So this is actually perfect. We'll lose this here. He raided it. That's a bit annoying. I guess he will be fighting. We're a little short, about a hundred. Our income dropped because of the, the sacking that happened. Or else our projected income would have been enough. Oh, Yuan Shao's son. We don't have enough money. Okay, so we can make that happen for sure. Zhuge Xuan? I can chase my brother away from the courts, and then we can become heir. That could be a play, actually. We need 2,800. 500 more. It's not impossible. I think we can maybe sell some food. There's definitely diplomacy to be had. Okay, so eight food for, we need lump sum paper. Oh, that's a mistake. Hold on. I was hoping for a bit more, but that will do. There's a chance his faction gets wiped. He's on the field, he's air. There might be spy defense, 12 points. 
12 points means we can do it twice. And then get the interference going. Oh, plus 25. Wow. Okay, so we're not going to spy on him at all. We're going to just save points and get him to come back with items. Uh, we're very far away from picking up our wife, which could be a problem. It looks like we can reach them. Good. Yeah, we'll definitely night battle this. This army does have a lot of range, although we probably outrange them. We can't create a new vassal in Chen because our son took the Chen flag. So I guess we either have to wipe him or force him to peace out by taking his livestock farm. Ah, they even have a tower. Fancy that. Okay, I'm gonna turtle up. Move them up. Fire archers on both. Once they get attention of the tower, we'll go shoot it down. Start circling. Uh, we... We definitely can beat her. I don't know if she wants to duel. Are the tower ignoring us or are they firing? I mean, if they're going to ignore us because of we're in turtle, we're just going to capture it. Why does it feel like the tower is not hitting anything, including... Oh, they can't see us. Now they can see us. Is it the hill giving weird vision? Okay, we want to be the one challenging. Okay, now they're... Uh, we don't need to fire at it anymore. Ooh, oil patch. They start shooting fire arrows. That would be super impressive. Actually, we're going to use their oil patch against them. Because I think we can force them to charge us eventually. Let's also come up and use his bow. Mm, we're kind of shooting from downhill. But it feels like this is vision proof. That's going to be super clean. Alright, one of you will be. Ooh, super clean. Pull him back. Oh, Xu Jing. I'm pretty sure Xu Jing wrote Cao Cao's uh, core recommendation historically. He was a sort of a talent judge. And a lot of famous people went to him to uh, get raided with him and Xu Shao, his cousin. Uh, his cousin might be the one who wrote it. 
He eventually, I think, flees south, joins Shi Xie, and then ends up in Liu Bei's court for a while. But they were in the business of talent raiding. Okay, we can move up a little bit more. We'll get behind them. Yeah, now we have the range advantage. We don't have the bonus from the 20% with the faction council, but we still have the 10% from Chen Deng, which helps a lot. And since cavalry are not immune, or this one's not even a melee cav, it's a shot cav. Not immune to missile resistance. We can land some good shots. He's getting picked off slowly. I can also go mock him. Yeah, our unit's gonna take a while to get up here. We have to get quite close to mock. Yeah, they're charging us. Can we wiggle away? Sort of, or getting attacked. Mock. Did it? Back it up. Oh. This is... Might be a tough charge into it. But we can try. We don't have spears, so even if we charge in here, it's not too bad. I don't want to march through this. Rather, they come to us. I think we can start charging them. Gonna keep one of the spears on the general, one of the spears on the general. Alright, I think that's the army loss.
之大志，将得以实现。嗯 ，Imperial favor。Ooh, he's a stubborn general, which no longer gives unbreakable. As you might have noticed, there's really no unbreakable general, which keep things fair. It's not bad. I think we can grab him first and worry about what we're gonna do with him later. Okay, not so happy with him. Maybe we do just fire him. I mean, we're also going to send him out as well. Do you want peace now? Hmm. They feel strong because they're part of a coalition, which kind of explains their balance of power shifts. That's going to be lost. That's fine. We didn't make enough to add our wife, but maybe we can diplomatically solve that. We still have a lot of food. And we can still try to cash out some of that food. Seven, that's not enough. We need about a thousand. See, that, that's fine. We can probably make this work. Because we're going to pick up Chen's livestock farm, which is more food. This is your one Doesn't like Zanbat. Negative 100 upkeep. Um, we could get rid of some of these. They're not really performing as good. I mean, we have enough range units to kind of carry the day. If we just delete them, it's one way we can do it. Also with this army. They're cheaper and I would say better alternative than the Danyang Archers. Yeah, so maybe this is where we save some costs here. We're going to need to save that slot for a trebuchet down the line anyways. And then we can... Look at the satisfaction. Shouldn't be a problem... If we banish, say, Xu Jing, who we just picked up. We get 800 back. He's going to hate us. Which is fine. I'm also thinking about banishing her. She's not really bringing much back. And we already got the kid. She's going to be worth 1600. And we have an open administrator slot that we can use as well. It's probably better this way. And we can tank the 10 points of satisfaction and then another 10 point potentially. But at least we have some cash on hand that we can use in case someone shows up as a suitable character. I'm going to let it burn. It's going to fix itself eventually. Uh, I guess we could afford it. This one, I, I think we can let it fix itself by itself. It's not giving us anything. All right, that's good. Ah, they finally snuck over. So we have army nearby, it's gonna be fine. They're gonna take the temple. We'll let them. Mainly a satisfaction hit.
We chased Liu Chong out. Did he bring any items with him? Yep, he was heir. So he left with the items because he was angry. And we're just gonna welcome him in for his items. He's rank 6 and he's not very useful. So we're going to eventually also banish him. The question is, I don't think we do it now because we have a satisfaction issue. We can fix that a little bit by plus two right there. Uh, Miju is probably going to just be administrator. Yeah, we're going to chase him out soon. Now, does it mean Liu Qi is now heir? Or did they make Lady Tai? Oh, we became heir. Excellent. So now we have options, as in we can actually kill Liu Bell. It's a possibility. For sure. Just like we can kill Yuan Shu here too. Alright, there's no rush. Eight point five. We could just wipe him, he's just a farmland, but we have to focus on our son. So he's dragging that garrison to help him out, thinking that it will help him win this fight. Um, we could take them on together. There's no range unit whatsoever. One archer coming in. Uh, we could do night battle, two separate fights. Yeah, the garrison's not worth it. Huh, hell, that's uh, fine. They're probably gonna stay behind this tree. Oh, they already have a siege. Yeah, they have a tower there. I could go on this side, I guess. This will sort of force them to reposition. That tower wouldn't be able to hit us from this high ground area. Gonna turn this off in case we can pick up a fight, which I think we can. Go look for them. We'll kill one first. It's likely they have an oil puddle somewhere over here as well. Oh, what's he using? Reducing your own melee evasion? Not a very bright idea. I'm gonna go this way. I'll kill the other one too. What's going on? There we go. He's a little bit tougher because he didn't get rid of his own melee evasions. He's actually winning combat. Okay, not anymore. Yeah. 
你苟且偷生多时矣。妖唇骨舌如此，怕不是在自取其辱？不能降，便当死。There's the other. Ah,、uh, they both kept their head. Oh, he lost the leg. We have recovery, so he can just come back and heal. We're still not set up yet. These Dion units are really slow, but they are charging now. Yeah, like I said, they really don't have range units. Where are the reinforcements? Oh, we kept it in night battle. There's no reef. They literally have no range unit. So there's not much to flank. Get ready, throw. Flank, kill the general. Hit that next wave. Let the archers take care of the ones that are routing. All right, took down the general. They still have a cavalry unit.、Let's、see if we can shoot that down. Too late to run. Send a spear unit over there. Got it. We might have enough movement to hit the livestock farm. Not sure though. Gu Shen Tong Mou Lu, no one can defeat. He's the heir. We want a chance for peace, so we're gonna pick the positive diplomatic options. It's a nice debuff for dueling. We'll pick it up. We'll fight it because the delegate has been pretty bad, and I think just using range units we can wipe them out quite easily. Play to the side. We'll go harass the range unit.
Oh, they're not moving up. Okay. I don't think we need any infantry. We're gonna just spook him until he comes out of the spears. Oh, they have an oil puddle in the front. Oh, Tosan got knocked off his horse. Run, run, run. We can passively heal him later, but run. Ah, Cao Cao is in trouble. Lead them to the archers. Okay, we're gonna huddle and let Cao Cao heal. I'll do a bonfire to celebrate. Alright, almost back to 10k. We can claim it now. Now, do you want peace? Because I'm willing to offer it to you. 3.5. Okay. No trade possible. He still likes us. I'm gonna give him a little bit of food to shift this up to five points. I still don't understand why he went to war with us in the first place, but that's fine. He gave us excuse to wipe out a couple other factions. So I'm going to go retake the temple first. We are going to deal with this problem. They have no siege weapon, so they can't take that right away. As a matter of fact... No, Chendong's on the field, so he can't come back, but... We could maybe trade it? I can wipe out his faction faster than he can do anything there. It's risky though. We'll take the slower route. This is coming for us, but we control the character who leads the faction, who leads the army. He can lead the faction if we have him kill the right person, aka Yuan Shu. Oh, Lady Wu. She might have some good items. Like potentially the seal. So it's worth a try, in my opinion. This is no good. Oh, it's not no good, it's just we can afford it. This is probably not a marriage we will... We'll probably divorce her because we still want a chance at 
Oh, we wanted this. There's still a chance we could get Sun Yuan down the line. Cao Cao, you're not very good with this bow. So what we're going to do is flip this. The bow, we can give it to maybe me. But it's set, so we have more satisfaction morale when defending, as well as a bump in prestige. Like I said, we're going to divorce this. Now she has corruption reduction. Handmade guard is available. Nice. And melee cavalry. So she is someone we're going to keep. For sure. But we're just not going to let her be our son's wife. A little bit bum, but it's fine. Neutral, on the other hand, you know, not so useful. We're going to kick out probably as soon as we take back the temple. So the satisfaction will be okay. Right, we're not going to do anything there. Yeah, it'll fix itself by next turn. And we can turn our attention over here. Uh, we're probably not going to get sieged. We can probably start building now. I actually want to go up to city tier here and get a state workshop. So we, we might wait. Yep, he's coming. Ugh, I don't like the fact he's running towards our center. Oh. He got her pregnant in the few turns before we uh, send him off. Okay, we actually wants to be an emperor. I mean, that's a perfect good reason to kill him. We'll keep saving points with him, even though it's going to be incredibly hard because we can't do an interference. I don't want to chase him around. It's like I leave and he's going to show up another turn. I can actually hit him here. Ooh, that is tempting. Because that temple isn't going anywhere. But we can take care of this threat now. This will just be a delegate. You'll be fine. We can even put the garlic on someone and we don't have to worry about replenishment here. We'll still release. Item isn't worth it. The generals took a hefty hit. Let me get this first. Military supply is actually pretty rough with the mod. I think we do want this. This is also okay, but I want that more. Now we can leave them stranded and we can Go straight for Ding Guan Min Yang Fan Chen Ji. 
I don't know if we should go straight for Danyang and just declare this war. We probably should. We don't have to do it this turn when we're in the water. Uh, so we just don't get any more movement no matter what. We should have enough to reach the next turn. We don't have a siege weapon, obviously, so we're going to have to take a turn, but that's fine. We have no supplies. Sao is a busy man. I think we can tank the satisfaction hit now. I'm going to get rid of him for the cash. We have the seal. We really need to pick up Dayang for the income so that we can get more army or at least comfortably have our two armies on the field. Um, got a good weapon. Okay, actually no one can use it right now. Let's give it to our wife. Yeah, nothing here. I think our assignment timed out, which is why our population is going back up. We definitely don't want that. Is there anyone we want to rank up? I mean, Trungwon kind of low rank. Let's get him a couple of ranks here. And we're good. He's back. I'm gonna go over here to Chen. Might have to go here. Let this get hit. Just because our supply is kind of bad. I don't know if we want to stay on the field. All right, Emperor comes of age. Imperial intrigue is on the table. And I guess we will increase our favor. Oh, uh, we can't target ourselves. Oh, they changed it for the mod. Okay, I mean, we're fine, I guess. I don't think we're getting anyone here. How close are we? 40, oh, about 40 points, 37 points. We're not really building up, so maybe that doesn't have to come right away. We could go up here, pick up character salary decreases and spy upkeep decreases. More spy action bonuses, because we're trying to do a few things. Get these two and we'll work on the rest of the character salary decrease. Our income is negative. Why? What changed? Oh, the double peasantry expired. That's what changed. That's nice. Once again, kind of useless. We might get an option of instant siege. No, we don't get it. We can get supply depletion, start attritioning right away. We might consider that.
Yeah, let's fatigue them. We'll get the bonus again. Uh, as for the rest of the cost... I guess we just keep saving the points. I don't think we're stealing any characters. I think the play is just we... Oh, there's a model that's missing. We're gonna just kill Liu Bell, I think. That's probably the best play here. Much like how Yuan Shu might die here as well. Ding Yi. <laughs> we can have him lead the military revolt. Uh, it would get him killed because we don't have enough points to counter the spy action. Although I don't think anti-spying is a thing when the battle happens. So right now he has enough money that we can flip him when this fight does happen. And they'll be in for a surprise. Yeah, that'd be nice actually. So we should be fine. Ooh, current event. She has got a spy action against her. Do we have a spy amongst our rank? A turncoat? It's a slight concern. We got her through marriage. She's not a spy. He had no past history. He's not a spy. We got her through marriage. I mean, it could be a turncoat situation. That's something we can't really deal with. I am actually tempted to give independence to my other son here in Pengcheng, and then we take the temple back and he just keeps the settlement. Doesn't make a lot of money, it's not even food positive. Makes sense, actually. So, let's get him out of his assignment. Next turn we can pull that maneuver and then we can capture it afterwards. Sounds good. I can be a negative income for a turn. I think that's fine. Oh, Luyal wants peace right away. Too bad. I think we're good. Oh, too much war. I mean, the key for us is picking up Danyang. He ambushed himself here? Come on, be a little bit less obvious. Two can play that game. We can ambush ourselves too. Wow, Yellow Turban Coalition. They think they can make you disloyal to us. Too bad that is his capital, or else we would flip it. Right, two can play at this ambush game. We just take this? They sailed the army away because it's a port. You can't hold them in a siege. And do a couple item swap. Because now we're going to desperately need these. And... This way, no one goes on cooldown. Ah, his army is on the other side. Oh, we don't need that. Who... 
I mean, Mitru could work here. Yuanyang is also very good. Actually, Yuanyang is very good. Let's cancel her assignment. She's coming back next turn. Perfect. And then she can take care of this. So that's going to be our save point. We're not going to touch anything else. Um, come back and continue from here. We have made it back in Danyang. We'll pick up the pieces. He has expanded a little bit down. We can grab that as well. Wipe out Yanbaihu along the way. Go to war with the Han eventually. Uh, we still have a few wars to finish up, but it shouldn't be too bad. And as Cao Cao finish up the fighting over here, we'll clear the south, build an economy for ourselves, and then pick up these Han territories. Then we should be all set. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. See you all next time. Bye!